Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play European Mars Hours for Mayan Taxes 3.0 with me, Alpha by Omega, and yes, Manuel Devote. So in the previous episode we have started our war against Hungary and their allies. So actually it's against Croatia and their allies, which is Hungary as an overlord, currently Prussia and a couple of smaller states around Europe. In my free, it's actually Schwabia. Bamberg and Passau. Okay, and we've been doing a sort of an okay job, but they have been annoying us with these little incursions into our territory through Sirvan and other places. So I need to deal with that. I was thinking how we're gonna do it, and I think we're gonna finish sieging uh, Dikra. Actually, I don't think even you have to wait. It. I think I'm gonna detach like 10,000 men and just send them eastwards to clear out these fools and you know have a little bit of a Ah, uh, time. Uh, okay, how many for the siege? How many do you need? Five artillery is a five bonus, and you got six. Okay, so I can actually put one more here. So four to one. So let's make it. That's 8,000 men. Okay, I'll take 8,000 men and just send them down here. And this time I have to remember to cancel my military access through Servan because this is wholly annoying. In the meantime, we're sieging or resieging here in Arad and we're going to be moving down here to clear out these guys. And then I'll probably try to siege Slavonia and Patch just to take these areas under my control while the other army is going to move closer as well and make sure oh and actually I've sieged the doge and I forgot about that so we need to clear that one too oh and it's first of January we were so close to the new year okay well I had no idea but uh, it actually makes a whole lot of sense to see that Uh, but you know the war score is heavily in our favor. But I would still love to you know cripple uh, Prussia a little bit and um, do some more damage to uh, the states we're fighting with. But it's gonna be really hard because they just have so many small movable armies, and it's not exactly uh, not exactly completely. Easy here to make sure that we just clear them out every single time. So red zero, come on, Transylvania, help me out with the siege. We're sieging it for you. Okay, conversion successful, and we're at our limit, aren't we? No, we could get more troops now. I guess I'm working on, yeah, I'm increasing the relations with the estates here and there, so. We could raise more regiments now. Which I think I might actually, because if we're gonna leave these 8,000 men guarding this area, then we should replenish this army by 5 additional thousand. So wait, who can we get? Um, 3 one, 1 Yeah, that makes sense. So let's go with 1, 2, 3. One and one and two, so okay. The siege is continuing. You guys are moving. Oh, hello! There's actually a pretty big army over here moving to our territory. Hmm. We will need another general, so why do I not do it this way? If we're gonna face you guys, we might just as well do it now. And they're gonna go and siege. But that's the question will they or will they not? I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen here or what their goal is. <sighs> I 
Okay, Hungary, Hungary has a pretenderable problems. Okay, they're actually going to siege. And I have a terrible leader. We have a great leader, so let's hope that this is gonna work well. Okay, so far so good. Just need to make sure that we're gonna roll well. Okay, Siege of Arat is over. So you guys can go to Slavonia next. 71%. I mean, of course. Okay, could you roll something better? Yes, like that, please. That is exactly what we needed. Wow, amazing. Okay, so we've actually won here. Would you allow me to clear you guys out and then move south? And I have you guys to join with this army. And I'm actually gonna send you here so that the army gets a little bit stronger. Okay, so you can also move to Tusa. Hey, we were joined by some... Oh no! Okay, that's just them retreating. So can you guys please go and clear this out? Then go south and clear this one out. And you guys can go and continue with the sieges over here. We're actually doing God's work here by curing out this, these armies. Okay, so we'll kill the army in Bosnia and we can continue sieging in Croatia and other places. Not a great start to this battle. Uh, but other than that, we are fine. Okay, so you guys are gonna die. Oh, and it actually reminds me that one army doesn't have a general, does it? Which we need to clear. Yeah, you don't have a leader. Okay, so you go. Now you do. Now we defeated you over here. And we just need to continue sieging. So Rashka has no defenses. Yeah, you're all just a small army, generally speaking. Okay, the moment we actually pass here, I'm gonna try to see if I can cancel my military access. Well, our enemies have forces within their border. Well, okay, that's fair. But we'll need to take care of this anyway. So let's send you over here and deal with that. Hmm. I just wonder if we're gonna be able to catch them. Let's go this way, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna... No, where are they retreating? To Ahar, okay. So I'm gonna follow them like this and hunt them down like animals. Okay, Rama has been taken. Just need to increase our... Okay, did they move southwards? I have access in Iran? No, I don't. So how would they get there? So they have to be in here. Nope. Okay, they just obviously sneaked right past us. Okay, we need to kill you guys. Let's 
So I'm gonna, can I cancel? No. Okay, now go fight them, brave Ottoman soldiers. He ought to be fine. I'm not expecting... Oh, uh, they have a fairly good general here. So let's just clear the smaller armies first. Ha! Okay, now? No, still not. Oh snap, okay. Well, how's this going? Actually, not great. You're sending a ton of reinforcements. Defenders desert. Okay, this might actually be the first battle where we get defeated, and we just did. And please tell me you're not going to march all the way to Constantinople, because that would make me a real man. Well, at least we've, you know, saved the departments, but... Uh, no, we're actually moving just to blow deep, so... It's fair enough. Okay, now we can cancel the military access, which is great, because we don't have any... Well, we're just guaranteeing them, so it's fine. So, can you explain where the hell are you moving? I'm gonna raise the fort in Castamonu. Do we have any? What the hell is going on here? This is absolutely crazy. Okay, so they're back to sieging. And I say we move you guys here. And from here we're gonna send the army north. Okay, come on, finish it. Finish it. Of course not. What was I expecting? You just defeat them, and with this, I think the third army could actually also move towards the enemy territory. Unhappiness among peasantry. Yeah, let's give them some money. Yeah, so if I send you here, we might be able to actually let you. Siege the territory of Prussia. Okay, and you guys now. The bigger army, but the better leader. It's gonna take that over. While well, you stay here and siege. Oh! And now we got lucky. So I'll just continue. Bureaucratic takeover? Sure. Why not? Covering the enemy army while we siege. Okay, hold on. So why did the game allow me to... Go there in the first place and understand. So if they don't have motor access and I don't have motor access, this is the only way how they can actually come at us. So can you actually go siege here? Because we should be able to... Podoya has a fort, so they can't really pass through there anyway. So it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so that means we should now control all of their access to our territory, which is what we needed to do in the very beginning. And because we have done that now... 
Eight should be fine. Mordovia. <laughs> okay, wait, what, which province is the most valuable? This one, Kongograd. Okay. So let's get that one. You can siege over here. You can siege over here and we'll be able to fight. And I mean, really, realistic was speaking, we ain't dominate the battlefield completely. I just wanted to make sure that they give us all that we want. We could ask for the bare minimum or even pretty good deal right now but I really want to get Prussia out of this first and uh, the smaller nations and then just have our way with Hungary because getting Prussia to give us uh, a nice little hefty bag of gold would probably be yeah they got 1100 gold and it goes war reparations as well and it may be even Kansas subjects. Could they release a nation? They probably could. Key if here. Well, we'll see. You can continue with the sieges. So can you guys. I'll probably put these two armies together and send you guys to siege into the Prussian territory just to make a point okay siege but first we need to siege Pest that is of course the capital that's most valuable no enemies within our territory. That's how I like it. 21, 21, 21. So it's looking really good. Prestige is going up, which is good. We're gonna get a decent boon from uh, the victory here as well, which we are gonna use to. Oh my god. You really hate us. And Transylvania does as well. God damn it. I really need you guys to respect me more because this is getting absolutely horrendous. Why the hell do you guys now have such high... Negative prestige, international influence, better diplomatic technology than we do. Oh, we have only 47. Hmm. Okay, let's take the ship logs and let's take the one after that as well. Well, ships could determine the latitude by calculating the angle of the sun, it was difficult to determine how far a ship had traveled longitudinally. To begin with, a navigator had to know how fast the ship was moving. One solution to this problem came in 1577 with the introduction of a ship log, a knotted rope in a setup that allowed sailors to count how many knots passed through their hands in a set amount of time. This told them how many knots the ship was traveling at, helping to establish where they were on the map. So naval force submit increased and morale as well and we can get the great circle sailing also for almost nothing. As navigation and map making became more accurate, navigators began to share the secrets of the great circle sailing, plotting their course along the curvature of the earth rather than a straight line. This led them to travel much more accurately when going east and west. So naval force submit increased 
morale and engagement with increased as well. And we could get the joint stock company for also very cheap, so let's get it. Trade overseas came with both great risks and rewards. By pooling their money, hundreds of or thousands of merchants could set up an expedition that could travel across the world to trade in spices, slaves, and other commodities in a multi-year voyage. Such expensive ventures were written up as a contract in which each investor held a share of the profits commensurate with his investment. The most famous joint stock company was the East India Company. So ship durability increased, we get trade efficiency improved, morale and subtler growth and we get a brigantine awesome okay now this ought to yep significantly lower yep that actually really lowered the issues that we have so at least for now it's gonna be fine oh well okay generally speaking we might still have this in the bag yeah okay they decided not to pursue this course of action, which is good for us. That will actually allow us to go and fight over here while we continue the sieges. And there we go, we're gonna defeat the Hungarian army as well. I mean, at least partially. You're going to want to Oh, they're attacking us. Okay, well, fine. I'm okay with that. Okay, the fact that we're actually decimating their army using just one of our armies is pretty darn cool. And we can actually stay here and siege. Okay, war score is 82%. They are no longer very much interested in fighting us. Okay, go siege Pesh. Fourteen. Okay, Shafmar has been taken. I'm gonna send you to Hesh as well, though we're getting dangerously close to crying here because of the attrition. How's the siege wave? Minus six from fourth level. 8 artillery would give us a level 2 bonus. How much do we have? 6. We have 1. Does Transylvania has more? Okay. Okay, let's see this one first and then we're gonna move to there. We're gonna see this and clear these smaller armies out. Yeah, I'm really not happy with the fact that uh, Prussia has it for free now. So one of these armies, the one that's sieging Pest, has to move north and I'll unite these armies down here and clear out the enemies. Okay, Shabovas is over and in our hands. So now go here. Come the hell on. <sighs> Find that it's taking us so much to do. So much time to do anything here is just making me super mad. But fair enough, we do what we must. I mean, we all do what we must. Okay, 
We're going to Rama. will probably not get away, will you? Okay, Siege of Havas is over. Finish the Siege over here. Um, Mustafa II is now something. Impact. Careful! Aggressive expansion, impact pulled by 10%, and average Moonar core span increased by 5%. So hopefully he's not gonna fall down from some kind of... Oh, god damn it. Okay, we lost that one. Okay, I'll have to send you guys. Okay, change of plan. This army is gonna fight Hungarians and these two are gonna go against Prussia. Though I still don't see the Prussian troops anywhere. I have no idea where they are. We've defeated our army and it got... And did it get stuck? No! Okay, speak of the devil. They're over there. Fire six. I feel like we might really have to get out of this now. I don't want to. But I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to because there's they just have so much more free manpower. And Hunger has no interest in continuing with the war at this point. So if we just went. Cancel our subjects. Give me Slavonia and Zagoria. Hmm. And then give me these four, five. They would. They would, and they would have not much of a problem with that. Okay, let's not take Bachka though, we don't need that one. This will be passed to you. Anything else? Well, you will give me 200 gold. What about you, Prussia? Would you peace out? No. Okay, so. Uh, because we ran out of manpower, I don't really think this is a feasible action anymore. So we're just gonna take it. Okay, and we could go before reparations and... Yeah, okay, I'll take it. So, they will see Slavonia, Zagoria, Toronto, Arad, Bihar, Chongograd. And they will give us 10% of their income each month for 10 years and they will end their overlordship over Croatia and they will pay us 57.1 gold. We get 46.2 prestige, they lose that and we are happy. Awesome. So, Croatia. Uh, Croatia. So you have truce with all of these people. You have a conquest castles bell against us. So what do we need to do now? Why are you outraged? Well, I'll need to proclaim a guarantee on you immediately. That's what we'll have to do here. We fulfill the mission, conquer Transylvania. Okay. Osman Devitek is Principality of Transylvania for 25 years, giving us the following effect. None. <laughs> cool. I like that. Uh, but okay, let's core you guys, all of you. 
Even though we are eventually going to pass you to the other nation, meaning Croatia, I would still like to have that core. We get a little bit of money. And how's the Colombian imports? Much better now, 2,500. Okay, and since we are going to start guaranteeing and facilitating Croatia here, It makes much more sense now to focus on you and annex you. Questions, is it worth it? You have five... Red You're way more valuable as Vassal. I just wish you didn't hate us so much. So I guess we're going to have to annex Voinovici. Arashka is... Croatia's core and so are these two. Uh, but that doesn't matter. Not to us anyway. So I can annex you. We'll keep Serbia and we are going to start working with you over here. So our armies are now all going to go to Constantinople and they're going to chill there. Okay, so another great victory against Hungary. Uh, again, the plan is we're going to take Croatia. Once we get them, we're going to pass them these three provinces. I don't mind those. Uh, they can have them, but they first need to be ours so that, you know, the vassalization is not going to be that expensive. I would also like to pass some provinces to Transylvania, but I'm not entirely sure it's a good idea right now. Way too many troops to... I need too much gold for them. Uh, so let me see, can we... Okay, there's not going to be any consolidation here nor here. There could be a decent consolidation over here, right? That was actually too big of a consolidation, it turns out. Either way, thank you very much. See you in the next one where we're going to deal with the aftermath.